Good evening, everyone. I'm Dr. Rohan Khandelwal, your marrow surgery faculty. And it gives me immense pleasure to introduce Dr. Dinesh to all of you. Dr. Dinesh has secured an amazing score of 244 in the recently conducted FMG exam. Heartiest congratulations, Dr. Dinesh. Uh, we all from the marrow team are extremely happy to see your score. Heartiest congratulations. Thank you so much, sir. So, Dr. Nish, tell us about yourself. Where did you do your uh, MBBS from? And how has the journey been with Mara over the last few years? So, uh, I, I did MBBS from uh, Davao Medical School Foundation, Philippines, sir. And mm -hmm. uh, I uh, I started my journey in my second year. So I bought I, 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 I bought uh, Mara Plan C in my second year. My senior mm -hmm. and my friends, my roommate, I recommended it. So, uh, it was really a wonderful journey, sir. Great. So Marrow has been your primary source of preparation since second year, and you've been watching all the videos uh, on Marrow through Plan C. Tell us uh, what you like about Marrow, who your favorite faculties are, and how did you go about preparation? Did you make your own notes? Did you Were you reading the notes which were provided by Marrow? So give us uh, some insights into your preparation journey. Uh, actually, uh, I... My senior recommended and my roommates also recommended marrow, uh, marrow plan C, sir. So they said, uh, like, uh, the sh I, our schedule was so tough, sir. So, like, very, very crumpled. So, per, per day, one video or two videos, uh, if we manage, we can complete by marrow by fourth year. So, that was my initial plan. So, it was, it took more time, sir, but it was really a wonderful journey. My favorite teacher is, of course, you, sir. And also, I, I really like Rakesh Nair, sir, and, uh, Orthopedic sir, bone surgeon. He is also very good. I orthopedics he made really simple. And also, uh, marrow has been my primary source for entire three years, sir. That's great. So uh, you used to watch the videos, Dr. Dinesh, and were you using ready-made notes or were you making your own notes while preparing? Uh, I, I I bought ready-made notes from marrow, sir, in my third year. So I was using that. And also few uh, for uh, Few subjects I, I I made my own notes. Yeah, perfect. And uh, Dr. Dinesh, uh, I mean, Philippines has been known to be one of the better places for FMG in terms of academics. They are very academically oriented. So, uh, what would be your advice to students who are preparing there to attend, keep on attending the college lectures simultaneously? You are using some source for preparation, but you should not miss out on college lectures. And were they useful as well during your preparation? Yes, actually, Maro is the best for college exams also, sir. Actually, we had MCQ-oriented exams, sir. So, uh, it's mainly tested on uh, concepts, sir. So, uh, I used to, I used Maro as primary source even for my college exams also, sir. Especially the clinical subjects, it was really helpful, sir. So, like, uh, if you do one video or two videos per day, we can complete Maro by fourth year. Also, it helps in college exams also. Plus, it helps in... Uh, for uh, entrance exams also, sir. So I really recommend. Great. So uh, Dr. Dinesh, you said that your university exams were also MCQ exams. So simultaneously yes. after watching the videos, were you also uh, doing the Q-Bank? Yes, sir. Of course, sir. Mainly okay. for clinical subjects, sir. But if the exam is very near, it will be like uh, very tough, sir. But I really love Mara Q-Bank, sir. So you basically used to finish one subject and used to watch the QBank uh, or solve the QBank for that subject then? Yes, sir. Uh, I usually used to watch video, then and there I will do QBank, sir. Great. And uh, were you using the QBank of the FMG section or the PG section? Sir, PG section, sir. For the last three years, I used only PG section, sir. When the exam, yeah. For the last six months, I was using FMGs. So that is very interesting, you know, because I've been teaching FMGs now for almost 13, 14 years. And one thing which I've seen over the last six, seven years is how the scores have increased. You know, when we started teaching, A, the pass percentage wasn't good. And B, the highest scores were somewhere in the 170s, 180 range. But now you see that the highest scores are reaching 244, 246, 248. So that basically means that students are preparing in a better manner. FMGs have, uh, you know, increased their level of preparation and their standards have increased tremendously. 
So, so hats off to all of you guys as well for you know taking the standards so high. Uh, and I feel that the competition, uh, you people are much more aligned to appear for a PG exam and crack a PG exam also this way. Thank you so much, sir. Yeah. So, um, did you appear for the mock test and the subject-wise test which are highlighted in the app? Yes, sir. I, after completing each subjects, I will be doing subject-wise test there too. Uh, like a pre-test and post-test, sir. First, I will do a subject test. Then I will do like uh, do the revision videos for the FMG exam. Then at last, I will do on post-test like subject test. And all the mocks I attended, sir. And what about uh, the mock test which was held, the national mock? What was your score in the uh, FMG national mock? So I, I, my score was rank uh, 30 in part 1 and rank 22 in part 2, sir. Rank 22 in part 2. But what was the score? Do you remember your score? And my score was 110, 110, sir. 110, 110. So 220 was your score then? Yes, sir. Great. So you've uh, upped your score from the mock. The mock was a good indicator of where you stand. And before we started talking, you told me that you were expecting a good score. Of course, 244 was a surprise for you. But you were expecting a good score after the exam. Yes, sir. Definitely, sir. The marrow mock test was really good, sir. I attend all the mock tests live, sir. Actually, it, it, the questions were really good, sir. I can easily understand. It was structured very nicely, sir. So I really love marrow cubans. And how was the FMG exam this time? Some students said that it was very challenging. There were new images. What was your take regarding the exam this year? Sir, uh, part one was very easy, sir. Like it was like on, online us and it was like easy, like even like the national mock test, sir. Many questions came from that, sir. Like no around 50 to 60 questions directly from the mock test. And also part two was mainly very confusing, sir. Like, uh, Maybe like two or three will be the answer, sir. But uh, it was we had to choose the best from that. So it was like that. It was like all the, the options, end, all the confusing. yes, sir. All the options are like so it was the correct. It was the correct. So it was very confusing, sir. My it was but part two was like many radiology, sir. Around fifty questions for radiology images was given. So I I attended using that radiology images only, sir. It helps. It helps in the radiology helps in the solving the questions, sir. Or, or else will be very difficult. Sir. Did you solve grand tests during your preparation journey? Yes, sir. For the last six months, I did all online, all the grand tests online. So around 13 to 14, I gave, sir. Okay. Uh, so, Dr. Dinesh, a couple of tricky questions for you. Number one is that FMGs usually find it difficult to revise, to summarize the, or to revise everything in the last few months. How did you go about your revision? So, uh, actually, I graduated in feb 25 sir so my plan was uh three months of one best revision and one month of uh very solid concise very important oriented sir so first three months i was giving like uh all the revision videos was my, my main source sir plus pvqs plus uh i i i, I watched that uh uh video like tnd sir and no. for last one month i was mainly pvqs and uh, it was like very consolidated, like notes are like which is important for FMJ, like that. So basically, revision videos, uh, PYQs, and the question, uh, the question discussion videos, which were there. Yes, sir. Okay. Now, some students, you know, message us and say that we don't want to watch the main videos. There is still time. They still have six months, eight months, but they say that can we just watch the revision videos? So what would be your advice to them that if they have time, should they watch the main videos of major subjects and then go to the revision videos or only revision videos would also suffice for FMC? Uh, no, sir. At least for clinical subjects like surgery, OB, they should watch the main videos. Sir. That's part two was very confusing, sir. Like if you didn't do the main videos, it will be like we don't know what topic and what they ask like that. It will be, sir. So for, at least for clinical subjects, main videos should be, sir. At least they should have watched one time for review for sub for subsequent revisions, maybe revision videos will be enough. But for one time, at least they should watch the main videos. So for the main subjects, the clinical subjects, which have a very high weightage, you strongly recommend main videos and then switch to revision videos after that while they're revising. And for short subjects, they can even do revision videos. Yes, sir. Okay, great. Did you utilize the pearls as well in the marrow art? For biochem and forensic medicine and for pediatrics, this this which I used to sir. 
okay and uh, other uh, things which uh, so in the maro app uh, what were the features which you liked regarding the maro app um mainly the cube bank said that three options it was really good sir plus also the cube bank the app was so smooth sir to you so i really loved it it was okay. so simple also sir like everything is like in place so we can easily go and search it was really good sir that's amazing and what would be your advice to your juniors in philippines what advice would you like to go while they are preparing for their fmg exam so uh, i would recommend to buy maro at early sir like from second year first year so the schedule is very crumpled very tight sir so even they can watch one video or two videos per day they can able to manage by fourth year they can complete the entire syllabus and and uh, for online platforms like maro it is really useful sir so it will be helpful also for the entrance need page also sir so and i recommend to buy it in the marathon uh, which we used to organize to for solving the cube bank module uh was i did not attend this trip because the schedule was so i want to complete mm. very fast so i was mainly last six months i was focusing on only on pvq sir great but uh, when it comes to fmgs what would be your advice for them to stay motivated when they are abroad you know they they are homesick sometimes how do they stay motivated and how do they keep studying uh it was uh maybe attending uh some youtube sections like i, I saw many youtube sections like uh they are so giving some motivation speech maybe like that or maybe they should uh, speak with their family more uh, often to get motivated sir but it's really very tough to get motivated in fmgs no i understand i mean staying away from home for so long and going through a rigorous uh, mbbs tenure can be quite challenging and you know you need a good friend circle and uh, family support to uh, make uh, it through these uh, five or six years so thank you very much dr dinesh thank you for talking to us uh, it's been an absolute pleasure uh, love the focus which you have love the clarity of your preparation and heartiest congratulations once more and i can't wait to interview you once you get your surgery seat in post graduation Thank you so much, sir. I'm really grateful to entire Maro team and especially to you, sir. All right. Nice talking to you. Take care. Good Thank night. you so much.